Well, hey, crafty friends. It's Heidi Scott with DIY Dreaming. And, oh my gosh, I am so excited about this project today. We're going to be making a very um, adorable, unique pumpkin topiary. And it's going to involve this, which this is a self-adhesive wall tile. It's plastic, but it's meant to look like that old tin from Dollar Tree. So it's going to involve at least two of these. We're going to be using some of this paint. Um, this is pumpkin, and this is called Fern. They're Waverly from Walmart. I used a spray paint to paint mine, but you could also use any kind of white paint that you would like. And we can do some little um, doodads on it. You know, with I just got out an assortment of ribbon. Um, we're going to be using a palette knife. These are from Dollar Tree. And we're going to be using a dowel or a couple. I'm just going to make one today, but, and then something to put it in that has floral foam in there. So I think that, those are the, the basics, but it's going to be super cute. And if you guys decide to do this, I definitely want to see yours, okay? Because a lot of you guys shared your pictures with me after we made these. And I got so many ideas that I wish I would have had before I started this project. Like somebody, I cannot remember what her name is, but she's a follower. She tied little ribbons in between each part of the tree. Our topiary is gonna to be kind of this idea. Three graduating bigger to smaller pumpkins on a dowel stuck in this, um, Moss. So if you missed this video, um, it should be available to watch here on DIY Dreaming, but I'll reshare the video as well. So as you're hopping on, tell me hi. Let me know that I'm not just standing in my craft room talking to myself. Um, feel free to sprinkle. Feel free to ask questions. The main components of this really are Dollar Tree. Uh, okay, so first thing I did was I took a piece of computer paper to make my patterns and I don't know exactly what a pumpkin shape is but this is just what I came up I don't have a template you could google if you want a specific template so I put like three little bumps on the bottom this is the next one up and then this is going to be the top okay and then what I did was I took this outside in this box. This is my new um, spraying box. I took it, of course, out of the package. And I sprayed two coats of, I'm using this Rust-Oleum Satin Ultra Cover Paint and Primer in white from Walmart. I used that. I sprayed it. Um, if you want, you could paint it. It's just a heck of a lot quicker to spray it. So here's one that's all ready to go. And then I just took my pattern and a Sharpie. And I'll show you this whole thing. You can, if your pumpkins are roughly the same size as mine, you can do a whole side just from one of these um, wall tiles. I'm not even being that careful with drying it on here because it really, I'll cut it neat when I do it. And we're going to probably need to trim it anyway. So there's my first one. And then to do the others, I just laid them on here and traced them with the other patterns. And then this stuff, this self-adhesive wall tile, it is not adhesive except around the very edges. And it's not thick, it's not hard to cut through, it's actually very easy to work with. Um, you don't need tin snips or anything crazy like that. Just using a pair of scissors. 
show you the next step after this, so stay with me, and then we're going to assemble it. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to see what it looks like. And I'm thinking that you could do this same project if you had a longer dowel than what I have here handy. And you can get long dowels at Walmart and Hobby Lobby. You could do this project with much bigger pumpkins and it would be so adorable. Okay, so let me answer a couple questions that I know you might have. Um, a lot of people have told me that they cannot find these at Dollar Tree. Well, I have been told that um, Dollar General also has them and I've also been told that at Dollar General, they're only a dollar. So I don't have one of those stores nearby me. I haven't been able to verify that. But um, this is usually in the part of Dollar Tree that has stuff for your home and hardware stuff. It's not in the crafting section. So you gotta look around the whole store in order to find it. Okay, so I just cut my pumpkin out and you'll see that the part that's supposed to be adhesive, it just falls off. It completely just falls off. Okay. So then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to use a palette knife. These are from Dollar Tree also. You could use real ones. You could probably use a popsicle stick. You could paint it. I mean, you could do whatever you want, but I opted to do mostly orange with a little bit of green paint. And, whoops, and I like this smaller one. So I'm just going to put, this is going to be my uh, plate to take some off. I just put some orange on the bottom, and I'm basically just going to, it's like scraping it on. Actually, I think I'll put a pile of it on here. And this, this idea for a craft, I haven't seen anyone else do this, um, but you could do all kinds of things on dowels uh, besides Christmas trees and pumpkin topiaries. And you could do absolutely whatever colors you want as the kind of highlight for, for this. So I love those kind of projects that can Kind of be whatever you want them to be and you can just take this idea and run with it and what i want you to notice is that i'm just kind of hitting the parts that are are embossed and and i would spend my time doing this and then i'm going to put some on the edges here and there and i'm going to stick i had orange paint on my face earlier today <laughs> this is not a super messy project. It's just I am impatient. I was so excited to show you guys this um, that somehow I got it on my hands and then I got it all over the side of my face. Okay, so I would probably say that that is good. But it's a personal preference thing. If you like it heavily covered, or the other thing is you could paint it orange to start out with and do the same idea with white paint. Um, okay, I'm gonna clean off my palette knife. And um, in a world where I wasn't hurrying, because I wanna show you the fun stuff, um, I would let this fully dry before I move on to the next step. But I'm just gonna put some green paint. It's called, this is a cool color. It's called Fern. It's a Waverly paint, inexpensive. I get it at um, my local Walmart. I know not all Walmart, Walmarts carry it. You can use absolutely any kind of paint. It does not have to be this brand or this color even. So what I'm doing is I'm just adding a few little highlights of green. And let's stop right there so we can move on to the good stuff. However, this is my favorite palette knife, so I want to clean it off so I can continue using it for another three years. Okay, so before 
I came live. I have been busy, 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 busy getting orange paint on my face. Um, and this is what I have made. So mine is going to be two-sided, and I want to make sure that I have the right part down. The down part is the part that has three lumps in my world. Okay, and we're going to start at the very top, I think. Well, let me think about this. It needs to be long enough that it can go down far enough that I have some room to stick it into the whatever. Okay, so this is the top pumpkin. And I'm just going to glue my dowel on. using. I'm using my low temperature hot glue gun. And I'm going to just glue a little bit of my dowel into the center. I'll show you this in just a second. This is almost exactly how we did the trees. Okay, and then let's put this piece over the top and make our little sandwich of pumpkin goodness. They're not exactly uh, perfect matches for each other because, you know, I'm human and I, in some spots, I didn't do a great job cutting it out. So I can trim that up and I'll show you that in just a second. Let's just get some stuff up here at the top. Okay, here's our top pumpkin. And I can see right here especially where I just really didn't do a good job, so I can fix that. No problem. If I was making this for someone, then I would want it to be more perfect. But I'm making this for me and to show you guys the idea. So here is our top little pumpkin. What do you guys think? Oh, and that noise you might be hearing is my husband printing. I don't know why he's doing that right now, but he's printing something. Our, um, our printer is in my craft room, which is kind of a thing, but this to be relatively straight up and down, relatively. Okay, so let's put the other piece on. Let's do this first. And then I'm going to make my little sandwich. Just pinching them together. This is where you would definitely want to have low temperature hot glue because I have it on my fingers already. And hot glue hurts. Dixie says she loves this idea. I'm so glad. Oh my gosh. When I made my decision that this is what this was going to be today. I was so excited, I just couldn't even wait. <laughs> um, but then it was a lot of prep to get ready. So I kind of wish I had a slightly longer dowel because it would be great to have more at the bottom. This is what I'm referring to. But we're going to make do with what I have because I always say, use what you have whenever possible. This is what dowels I have. Okay. Now I'm going to grab some hot glue. This was that etched glass piece that we made from Target Color Spot. And 
I decided to use it to hold my glue sticks. Okay, so let's make our little sandwich here. This is not going to get handled a ton, so it's not like you have to really super get it solid, solidly glued. Okay, so Mary Ann is saying she's always looking for ideas to use those sticky tiles. There are so many things that you can use them for. Um, and uh, we'll use them for Easter eggs, for bunnies, we'll use them for Christmas trees. And we'll make all kinds of things with them. my little pot of moss. And we could put it in here and what I would do, I'm not finished so stay with me, um, is I would make probably a pumpkin that, a smaller pumpkin for either side. And maybe one of them has two little pumpkins on it. Um, but what I want to do is fiddle around with the idea of putting some kind of ribbon in between the layers and um, these these are ribbon cards if you missed that video where I showed you how I store my my uh, ribbon that's saved me so much space um, it's here in the videos but anyways these are Dollar Tree ribbons these are Dollar Tree ribbons this I think is Hobby Lobby I can't remember and this right here, this little orange and white, I believe is Dollar Tree. So that's what I thought we would start with. I was wishing that I had sort of a mossy colored um, green and white just like this, but I think this is going to be adorable. So you could do all kinds of different things. It just depends on what, um, what your colors are and what you have available to you. I don't know if I want a bow or what I want. I'm not sure. You guys can see what you think and tell me if it should just be a ribbon kind of tied on here or if you like the bow idea. Of course, we'll have to trim it because it's not even. another ribbon bow on here and then I'll t have you guys tell me in the comments what you think where did I get my ribbon cards I ordered them on Etsy or Amazon I think I'll show you what they look like I've been working you know what I'm one of those crafters that I I buy ribbon way more than what I actually use it because I just love ribbon um, so I'm always having to update always having to update my um, little boxes of ribbon. This is what they look like. They're called ribbon cards. They're just um, cardboard. It's kind of like the shape of a spool and I just wrap it around, around, around and then I stick a pin in it to hold it. And it, it saves so much room. It's crazy. Okay, I am really thinking that we need something green for the top of this, but what do you guys think about this idea so far? Assuming then I make a couple more. 
to go on either side of it. Do you like it like that? Or would you like it better if it had, um, I, I like the ribbons. Um, or would you like it better if I, I don't think there's enough room really to do a wider ribbon. I think it needs to be a narrower one. Um, I don't know. The green. I know I I know I got some green bows. Let me look. Oh, I do have some. Okay, so this is how I store my ribbon. It's not neat right now, but <laughs> it's pretty neat considering how it was. Um, so like my ribbons are just kind of poked in here. And there's some that I need to clean up. But I do have some green, so let's try that. And I have like a, a basket, those are from Dollar Tree, of the, um, of the different things, like all burlap, or some that are different kind of laces or natural. And then I have some that are, you know, uh, black and white, because that's a big category that I use a lot. made this little stem on the top pumpkin a little bit bigger and you'll see that in just a second so I'd have more to tie it onto but I didn't because I was figuring this out as I was going along but those are my kind of crafts This is not a good bow, but you will get the idea of it. And let's make one more dowel just with this one that's not even finished. I can come back just to see how it would look kind of in the, um, in here. Now, of course, I'm going to be fiddling, fiddling, fiddling with this tonight. And I'll also finish this, but I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on it. It goes this way. And I'm going to assume that I might have one smaller pumpkin up above. And if I was going to do this, I would probably make it smaller. But what do you guys think? Wouldn't it be cute to have just a little arrangement. You could also do these kind of bottoms, which these are just those little wood wagon wheel things that you can get at Hobby Lobby. I just painted them the same color as everything else. Also, I could have done wood beads in between each pumpkin. That's an option. There's so many different things you could do with this idea. So let me move some of this mess out of the way, in case you want a screenshot. And, and I will get pictures after I get everything all finished up. Let's take this out because it's looking like it's leaning. Pretty cute, huh? And so much potential. So, okay, if I was gonna redo this, and I probably will because this is so fun, um, I would make my top pumpkin smaller, and I could cut it smaller, even with it being on this stick. And I would make the stem taller. 
right there. So it looked more graduated. This is smaller than this one, but not, not enough to look right. You know what I mean? It needs to be quite a bit smaller. And um, I might do the wood beads in between like this. I do really like the orange and green combination. I think it totally says pumpkin. We could also use some uh, raffia or Dollar Tree hula skirts to tie around the different bits of it. Um, so that's what I wanted to show you guys. Thank you so much to everyone who did stars. I so appreciate that. Thank you so much to everyone who sprinkled. Um, that honestly is the biggest thing that you can do to help me moving forward is to sprinkle my videos to your social media. Um, because I am, my goal is to keep growing this and my YouTube channel and to, to do, uh, to teach more people crafting projects. Um, so sprinkle if you would like to, if you have, hey Susie Noble, my friend, um, if you have questions, don't hesitate to ask. There's no links to anything today. I'll tell you, well, let's review one time real quick where things came from, Dollar Tree. The dowels you can get everywhere in all different sizes, but these probably came from Walmart. My paint that I used was pumpkin and fern, well, uh, Waverly, from Walmart. Um, the ribbon was from Dollar Tree. Um, the palette knives were from Dollar Tree. My paper plates were from the grocery store. I think that's pretty much it. Oh, and then just any kind of spray paint that you want to start uh, painting this. Or you can paint it by hand, but it does go much quicker when you take it outside and give it a couple of quick sprays. Um, I mean, it just it goes so much quicker. So let me know if you have any questions. Do a this or a this. Um, say something to me in the comments. Uh, check to see if you've liked and followed this page. We did just, if you're watching this live, if there's a little red button up here that says live, we just crossed over the 200,000 followers today, which is, just blows my mind. But anyways, um, so check to see if you've liked and followed this page. And somebody was asking me, what did I use to make the pumpkins? I made my own um, patterns using computer paper. Just, I had an idea, kind of what I wanted. And there's nothing set firm about these. I, if I was going to do this project all over, I would make, the bottom one big like this but then I'd go smaller and way smaller and then I'd have a much larger handle so I just traced that with those patterns on these after I paint spray painted them with a sharpie cut it out and this is front and back two pieces just glued together over the top of the dowel if you miss the beginning um, as soon as I'm done here you can come back and Watch this on replay. I will, of course, get pictures of everything. I'll put the pictures here in these comments as well as just on DIY Dreaming. Let me know if I can help you with anything. Oh, thank you. Catherine says congratulations. Yeah, it's very exciting to me. Uh, and so many of the people who follow this page are now my friends, which that's the best part of the whole thing. Yeah. Ask, okay, somebody's saying that they're waiting for their Dollar Tree to get these. Ask the general manager if they will order them. The other thing you can do, you guys, let me tell you this, and then I really will go. You can order a box of these at most Dollar Trees, and it's going to be, I don't know, 20 pieces or something, a lot. But once it arrives, and you can have it shipped to the store, so the shipping is free. When it arrives, then you could take 
five or 10 out of the box and return the rest to the Dollar Tree. And my store told me they would do that. I had heard that from other crafters suggested that. So um, this is just a self-adhesive wall tile. Yeah. Oh, and Lane says she loves the colors. I do too. Maybe I needed a little bit more orange. I don't know. And I would have loved to have some ribbon that was smaller, that was more like these colors. A little more pumpkin-y and less, you know, tangerine or orange. And a little more, um, I don't know what to even call that, avocado or something. I think that would look better. But this is just, it's like a, um, a velvet ribbon, but it's not wired and it's way too wide. Okay, you guys, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow for and throughout the whole week. So come back. We'll be doing lots of craft projects here that are going to be quick and easy. You don't have to have any professional tools. You don't have to be artistic or even really crafty. Um, they're going to be affordable. They're going to be sometimes a little different, like making a pumpkin topiary or a Christmas tree out of one of these. That's kind of different. Um, and for the most part, they are going to involve either faith, family, or flowers with a couple of Christmas trees and some pumpkins thrown in here and there. Okay. Take care, everyone. I'll see you later.